Nathan McKinnon is finally a Hart Trophy winner, and all it took is the greatest individual season in Avalanche history. Let's break it down, at least his production during the season. Part 1, The Slow Start. I know I just titled this section The Slow Start, but the opening night of the season, Nathan McKinnon actually had a three-point night with one goal and two assists. It should have been a beacon for what was to come through the rest of this season, but we were naive back then. No, the slow start refers to the first 10 games of the season as a whole for McKinnon, across which, including that three-point opening night, he only put up nine points in 10 games, including zero points in five of those games. Now, for a normal hockey player, nine points in 10 games would probably be their best stretch of the season, but Nathan McKinnon's expectations are on another level. For the past seven years, McKinnon has been significantly better than a point-per-game player, so I think a 9-10 and 10 stretch qualifies as a slow start for him. Honestly, this slow start just makes this season almost even more impressive for McKinnon. That means across 72 games, he put up 131 points. You're really approaching two-point-per-game territory at that point. McKinnon would start to find his footing, particularly by passing the puck through November, putting up nine assists and two goals for 11 points in the next six games. Part 2, The Ascension. November 20th, 2023, the Avs play the Nashville Predators. McKinnon has a pretty quiet but effective two-assist night. This would kick off a 19-game point streak for Nathan McKinnon. 11 of those 19 games would be multi-point games for McKinnon, and he would also, oh by the way, record the first ever four-goal game in Avalanche history by a single player. There were also other three- and four-point nights on top top of that. This is when McKinnon was simply dominating everyone in the NHL. Going into a game against the Avalanche in this period of time, you were accepting that McKinnon was going to get at least one, probably two points against you, and if you held him to just that, you had a pretty okay night. That 19-game point streak would drop at the end of December, but it really didn't slow McKinnon down at all. He would follow it up with another 14-game point streak that included another four-goal game and a whole bunch more multi-point nights. And this was far from cheap points on most nights, too. Yes, there were a few nights here and there where he'd pick up an empty net assist or do this or that or the other thing to squeak by and keep a point streak going, but you regularly saw him either putting the puck in the back of the net himself himself or being the direct primary assist on great plays to help the Avs score goals. At the All-Star break, Nathan McKinnon had only not produced a point in six games to that point in the season, and five of them came in the first ten. Post-All-Star break, McKinnon did see a slight downturn for a week. He scored one goal in the first four games back. That is easily the worst stretch of the season for him, three straight games without a point. But he would make up for that pretty quickly. Part 3, the multi-point master. After his post-All-Star game slow bit, Nathan McKinnon just started getting a multi-point game almost every single night. Across the next 14 games, he would score multiple points in 11 of them. In the other three, he still got his one. That includes two four-point games and a three-point game for some of those multi-point nights, too. So, genuinely, just an unstoppable offensive talent. That point streak would get stretched out to another 19-game stretch, which, that's two 19-game stretches in the same season. And for me, personally, this is is the greatest stretch of single player hockey that I've ever got to watch in full myself. I know some of my older viewers might be mad at that, but I was too young to really watch Prime Gretzky, and while I was alive for some of Mario's ridiculousness, he played in the East and I lived in Colorado, so I really didn't get to see and experience those runs. I got to experience this one from McKinnon, and it is the best I've ever seen. Part 4. Lots of fun numbers. Nathan McKinnon scored a point in 39 of 41 home games this season, 38 of them in a row. Now you are legitimately talking about him in an air with players like Wayne Gretzky for ridiculous records. There's even an argument that he should have gotten a 39th game on that streak, but the NHL is stupid about own goals. I mean, some of the numbers from this run are just nonsensical from McKinnon. McKinnon recorded zero points in 12 games this season. He recorded three or more points in 15 games this season. 
He had more three-plus point games than he did zero-point games. He recorded three hat tricks. He had two of those being four-goal games. He literally had people throwing their underwear on the ice. And he obviously set career highs with 51 goals and 89 assists to get that 140-point total. Since the year 2000, it is the third most productive season that has happened for an individual player. A bit silly that the two ahead of him happened the same year for Kucherov and the year before for McDavid. McKinnon ranks the best, or right up there with the best, in every single offensive category. And yes, he did feast on that power play, having 48 points on the power play this season, but his numbers are so ridiculous that a 48 power play point season only makes up about a third of his total points, so he was a complete monster at 5-on-5, five five too. 92 even strength points is the best in the league, only Kucherov comes close. And 41 even strength goals is only second to Austin Matthews, who is the best goal scorer of this generation. Keep an eye out for a diehard video coming out in a little bit that covers how Nathan McKinnon scores his goals. Overall, I fully expect we will never see a season like this again in an avalanche uniform. And I could be wrong. Nathan McKinnon could go out and best this next season. It's entirely possible. He's in the prime of his career. But this was absurd, and it should be noted as such, and a completely deserved Hart Trophy win for Nathan McKinnon.